Good morning, folks. Today we're peeking in on our space weather conditions, including a solar wind intensification. The weekend closed with more significant seismicity, and I've got a very caring and entertaining individual whom I'd like to introduce. But first, our star. More plasma filaments can be seen in 304 angstroms cresting the northeastern limb here. And when we come to our favorite view at spaceweathernews.com, that's the bronze-colored 193 angstrom view, we should note the dark equatorial coronal hole having crested center disk beginning to turn away, and also the thin dark plasma filament on the south. It's got some heft to it, doesn't it? The planets broke alignment, and our star is passed out again. No flaring. Sunspot production and complexity is noticeably absent, as loose small umbras are pretty much all we can see incoming, although our 171 angstrom view does appear to show the potential for more umbras to come into view slightly north of those later today. The solar wind finally presented that jump up in speed, and with the drop in density and phi angle movement, we can see it's related to the coronal hole stream. This is sending instability throughout Earth's magnetosphere, and both the K and Q indices are showing level 2 and 3 storm conditions briefly cropped up last night. This coronal hole departs, with the red negative opening waiting to swing in next. Looks like it could be a bit pinched tight by the blue coronal fields. Anyway, we did indeed get one more six-pointer yesterday, as now the watch begins to pull back, Caribbean with one above average as well. We expect a lull in seismicity until the next coronal hole comes in, or the sun couples with the Earth longitudinally. I've set the Earth scale here to be in the coronal cavity created by the IMF of that incoming coronal hole. Folks, this is Brian, the wellness hero. He's been one of you for a long time. We met him on tour in the Mobile Observatory, and he decided to document his journey from Rochester to Phoenix for observing the frontier, including a stopover in Pittsburgh to watch me do a morning news. I'll invite you guys to check out his channel, linked right below this video. Channel name is Wellness Hero. Almost doubled attendance from Pittsburgh, had our minds blown by Drs. Dunning, Uyen, and Harris had terrific conversations with so many people, and there are probably about 40 people that we truly need to thank. Also, it was nice to see the FBI at the conference, chillaxing, just checking up on things. I'm going to tell myself you were there in case Sapphire was a topic this weekend. A couple other alphabet groups made their appearances as well. Website members, at some point today we're going to post the February planetary geometry in the deeper look section. Not much happening for a bit more than a week. Got your pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.25 a.m. in Phoenix, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.